Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1442. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, either the start file or finish file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to compare two lists, list one and two, and extract the items in list one that are not over in list two. For example, GG is here but not over here. So we need to extract that name. Fanny is in both lists, so we're not interested in that one. Now back in 1441, we saw how to do this with Power Query. We saw how to do this with Power Query. Not only that, but I have a few videos here that show you how to do it with Excel formulas and Advanced Filter and a number of other ways. Now, as we mentioned in last video, in relational algebra, there's something called the difference or except or minus set operator. So when you subtract two sets, what you end up with is everything from set one that's not in set two. So that little part is the intersection, or that's an and logical test. Those items are in both. What we're interested in is this shaded area here, the items in list one that are not in list two. Now, last video we did it with Power Query, but in this video we want to see how to do it with the DAX accept function. Now, to use the accept function, you either have to have Power Pivot or you can use Power BI Desktop. In either case, we have our two tables. We need to bring them into the data model and then simply list both tables in the accept function, and it will do that difference or accept set operation. All right, so I have a single cell selected in list one. I go up to Add to Data Model. When I click, now it is in the Data Model. Alt-Tab, I click in the second table, Add to Data Model. Now Alt-Tab, and I'm going to go back to Excel. Now I'm actually going to bring it back to the Excel sheet. If I was in Excel, I would use one of these other methods rather than DAX. But this accept function can be useful in larger DAX functions. Now, I'm actually going to go up and start this by using an add-in called DAX Studio. Now, DAX Studio is a free download. you got to go and get it. It's amazing. It makes creating formulas and looking at the results of table functions easy to do. I'm going to click DAX Studio. Now, because I'm in Excel and I click the Add-in, it knows and it says, hey, do you want to connect to Power Pivot? If you are using Power BI Desktop, you would browse and then select the file. I'm going to click Connect. Now, it sees our tables because they're in the data model. I'm going to click over in the white area and Control and Roll to zoom in. Now, in order to get a table to show up, which means we're doing a DAX query of the data model and we want to return some of the records, we have to use the Evaluate command, EV, and then we see it in our dropdown, so I hit Tab. Now I hit Enter, and I type EX. C, and there it is, except returns the rows of the left side table, which do not appear in the right side table. So I hit Tab, and I simply list both tables. And I'm going to come over to the left and double click P customers, comma, double click customers, close parentheses, and that's it. When I click Run, I can see the list. Now, Let's go over to Excel and see how to return a table from the data model to an Excel sheet using existing connections and the Edit DAX feature. Now I'm going to highlight this it's all the way to Evaluate, Control-C, Alt-Tab. I'm going to scroll down and click somewhere below the output from our Power Query example. Now I'm going to go up to Data and Existing Connections. I go over to Tables, and here's the data model. Now we can select any one of these tables and click Open, and it will take that table and put it into the sheet. But really what it's doing is it's creating a connection to the entire data model. I'm going to double click P Customers. Here's the Import Data dialog box. I want to put it as a table. Click OK. 
Now this is the cool hidden feature. I can come over now that I'm connected to the data model and right click. There's table. And edit DAX is there only because this is a connection to the data model. If, for example, you come over here and right click table, of course, it's not there. Right click table and edit DAX. Now we want to select from the drop down DAX, highlight, control V. And there you go. Click OK. There are the customers in list one that are not in list two. Now, just like with Power Query, if we go and change something in one of our source tables, so I'm going to click in the last cell, hit Tab to add a new record to the table, type GG, and Enter. GG. Now, notice formulas update instantly, even though they're much harder to create than either one of these methods. That's the advantage. But down here, I can right click and point to Refresh, or I'm going to update both of them by using the Refresh All, which is Control-Alt F5. And so there we go. Our Accept DAX function to do the difference except or minus set operation updates and gives us the correct list. Now, actually, we just did this in Excel. But I should show you how to do this with Power BI Desktop, because they have a built-in feature that allows you to create tables just like a normal DAX formula. I'm going to click on Power BI Desktop to open up a new blank file. Here we are in Power BI Desktop. If we go over to Tables, we don't have any tables. Let's go back over to Excel. I want to close Excel, and I'm going to save it, Control-X, because we're going to take the data model from that file and import it. So we go over to the File, Import, over to Excel Workbook Contents, and there's the file. I'm going to double click. This just says, hey, we're not going to get everything from Excel, but we'll try and get the data model. I'm going to click Start. I'm going to say Copy Data. There it imported the queries and the tables in our data model. Click Close. I come over to the relationship icon. I can see the two tables. We're not going to build a relationship. Over here in tables, I can actually see the tables. There they are over here. Now all we have to do is go to modeling. And in calculations, we have a new measure. We have a calculated column. And there it is. Over here, we have a new table. I'm simply going to backspace and call this table not customers yet. Equal sign EXC tab PC, and there it is, tab. That'll be our left table, comma, CUS. There's customers tab. Close parentheses and Enter. And look at that. And this will update as records change. Now, if you wanted to save this, you can actually use the same keyboard as in Excel or Word. F12 is Save As, and then you could give it a name. All right, in this video, we saw the Accept DAX function to compare two lists and extract items in the first list that are not in the second list. We saw how to do it in Power BI Desktop. And if I open the Excel file, we also saw how to do it back over here in Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.